Hey everyone, I'm super excited to be sharing some content, practical coding advice on getting started with image similarity search with Weaviate and the Gina AI doc array. So image similarity search, basically the idea is you have these high dimensional images where they're represented as height by width by red, green, blue channel tensors. So you have these really high dimensional uh, tensors that represent each image and then you pass it into a deep neural network to compress it into a vector representation of the image. And the idea is that we can use dot product similarity between these vectors to have a semantic image similarity search. And e-commerce is one of the most fascinating applications for this. We imagine say uh, going on Instagram and taking a picture of somebody's shoes that you like and it's not an exact match of the shoe but you can embed it into this latent space and then hit something like Nike.com or Amazon or whatever the e-commerce platform is as we imagine these new e-commerce platforms developing further as the technology gets better and better but you'll be able to find that sneaker that you want that bag pants shirt whatever it is the idea is that having this new way of search enables a whole new category of the way that we browse e-commerce so Laura's created this amazing notebook going full end-to-end -end. install Gina AI doc array use the torch vision ResNet 50 to encode the images showing you how to import the doc array uh, set up Gina AI's doc array connected to the WeVA storage and then how to you know load in the data from the Kaggle H&M fashion competition and then visualize the pre-processing, resizing, normalizing the channel axis rotation with the RGB channel and then overall embedding the images and visualizing the results of searching for nearby pants to this uh, query pants image and that's the idea of e-commerce which is really exciting. So in this video I want to just add two things to this which I think are uh, interesting to show the generality of it and also to show you about the Weaviate cloud service. I think the Weaviate cloud service is just so exciting. This idea of uh, these products that are kind of entangling the complexity of the cloud and managing it for you and helping you just easily set up these database services on the cloud with a pretty simple setup. So as you'll see this, uh, what you have to do is you install the Weaviate client you install the Weaviate uh, WCS just by importing it from Python. Uh, you authenticate it with your account on the semi.console.semi.technology. This is my account, for example. Uh, then you, uh, you, know, you just create your cluster name. Then you have the cluster. You can check if it's ready. Uh, and then coming back into Laura's tutorial, you have the Gina AI doc array, the torch vision for the ResNet 50. Uh, what we come down and do is we are pointing our host to this newer, uh, <laughs> newer it took me a couple of tries, but I got it in the end. So newer test.semi.network, this is what I've named the cluster. As you see here, I have newer test is the, <laughs> is the name of this cluster. And then uh, port 80, this is another important detail that I didn't get correct at first. So, so this is how you connect it to Gina AI. Uh, so, so, the second, so this is how you connect to the WeV8 cloud service this is all you need to do. So now the second part is I've added CFAR 10 to search through just to kind of show you the generality of this notebook and how you can swipe in any data set. I mean, kind of obviously you can, there's nothing in here that's specific to the H&M thing, but just to show you how you do it. So I have, I've zipped up the files for the CFAR 10 where it's just train images and then image is just the ID and then the label of the CFAR 10 image, but you unzip it and then uh, you pass in. So this is how many images you want to search through right now. It's just 50 to make this run really quickly. Uh, then you have the data directory and then this is kind of like, um, I think you use this kind of style for like recursive folder traversal where you might have like different kind of patterns that you pass with the stars.jpg because as you see in uh, Laura's tutorial, she has the star star slash. I think that means there might be like another folder in it generally when you see that kind of thing. But so anyways, I just have one star slash JPEG. As you can see, this is like the regular expression matching from train images. Anyways, not super interesting. But so then what you do is you have the query image. So our query image is going to be this um, frog image here. So this so we're we're taking this frog from CFR 10, putting it into the embedding space and then finding other frogs in the CFAR 10 data set. And this is the idea. I think this is so exciting. This is everything you need to do image search. I'm really excited to be testing. The next thing I want to do is test generative models. This idea of you have a GAN and you produce an image, then you want to see if it's really generalized by seeing what the nearest neighbor in the training set. I'm also really excited about exploring what happens when you augment an image. As we've seen, if you rotate an image, flip it, you know, crop it, it's going to destroy the performance of the classifier. But I'm curious, does this also destroy the latent space, the embedding search, and what kind of of nearest neighbors are produced when you've augmented an image. So I think there are so many exciting things that we can explore with this image search. And I'm so happy to see this connection between Weaviate and Gina AI. 
So overall, I really hope this uh, was this video was useful, and please check out this notebook as well as YouTube videos we have on semi technologies, further explaining these new things we're working on. Thank you so much for checking out this video on image search with Weaviate and Gina AI. We've also uploaded two recent videos on the semi technologies YouTube channel, the full tutorial from Laura Ham, uh, showing all the details of using the uh, Weaviate and Gina AI integration for the H and M fashion search, and an awesome interview with uh, CEO Han Zhao from Gina AI on all. All sorts of details related to his background, how he got interested in vector search, and he has so many interesting projects about his uh, experience as a professional and uh, doing things as he calls the Frankenstein model as in their early efforts of hacking together uh, these vector search models and, and then all the way into the Gina AI ecosystem, the Gina hub, uh, some of the things he thinks are exciting. It's just such an interesting podcast. And so please subscribe, please check out Semi Technologies to help support this kind of content and hopefully develop more and more around vector search, which I just having so much fun working on. I think this is such a fun kind of thing to be exploring in deep learning. So thanks again for watching this video and I really hope this was useful to you. Mm -hmm.